Okay, a question. Do you guys trust me? I mean, I've never lied to you, so you totally should trust me, right? I've been told I've got one of those trustworthy faces. No? Well, how can you tell if I'm trustworthy or not? Wouldn't it be amazing if there was a machine that could spot liars? Oh yeah, there is one. The, the polygraph, the lie detector, the famed star of daytime talk shows. But do they really work? This might seem obvious, but the study of the human mind isn't like physics. You can guarantee that an action has an equal and opposite reaction, but you can't guarantee that every lie produces the same reaction. Poker players might have their own individual tells, but there is no signal that works for every human. We would be a pretty dumb species if we had an obvious signal that we were lying and poker games wouldn't be much fun. What polygraphs do instead is try to measure your arousal. Now that's arousal in terms of how stressed we are, by the way, you lot. With the idea that liars will be more stressed than truth tellers. A polygraph uses a bunch of different sensors to measure the physiological changes normally present when you are stressed. All those multiple signals are recorded on one readout and the examiner looks at them all to make a judgment about the person's honesty. Current machines usually record four signals, your breathing rate from your chest and your abdomen, uh, a cardiovascular signal, normally the pulse, and an electrodermal signal. Now this last one measures your skin's conductivity, basically how well an electric current flows across your skin. Now apparently it measures how your sympathetic nervous system is responding, the part of your nervous system that springs into action when you're stressed and thinking about fighting or flighting. And because of this, the pros reckon that the electrodermal signal is the best measure of how you're really feeling. Here's the problem though. Yes, feelings linked to deception, like the feeling of being caught out, do change these readings, but so do other states, like the fear of being incorrectly labelled a liar. However, the tests are done in a way to try to check for this. They'll sit you down, they'll tell you how the test works, and they'll mix in a lot of control questions with the relevant questions. Now, the control questions are designed to encourage you to lie, or at least make you feel nervous. For example, a relevant question might be, did you shoot your wife, while the control might be more general, like, have you ever thought seriously about shooting anyone? The thought is that an innocent person is supposed to show more fear towards the control questions rather than the relevant questions because they might worry over past mistakes rather than a recent crime that they know they did not commit. Anyway, that's the theory behind a polygraph, but time for the big question. Do they work? Well, it really depends on your definition of working. In lab tests involving specific incidents, for example, stealing the necklace that went missing last week rather than planning to steal something someday, there is evidence that they work much better than chance. But lab tests tend to be very different than field situations with major crimes going on. In a lab test, volunteers know nothing really bad will happen to them if they get caught. Whereas in real life situations, it's hard to even know what the truth even is. There are historical cases where polygraphs have been used by police to mislead suspects and even to coerce false confessions. In fact, many believe that this it's kind of the real way that lie detectors work, by convincing people that they work and getting them to confess. It's a tricky moral one, but you might think it's okay, until you remember that it massively discriminates against people with less knowledge, and suggests that you might be able to pass more easily the more you know about polygraphs. And that's before you even get into supposed countermeasures like squeezing your butt together. You not heard of that one? Okay, check out the footnote in the video description. Okay, so finally, lie detectors are often used in job interviews to work in the type of places a potential spy might try to sneak into. Nuclear power stations, the CIA, the FBI. Well, according to the work done by the Committee to Review the Scientific Evidence in the noughties, apparently using polygraphs for these things is almost certainly a bad idea. They couldn't find any evidence that they work to spot spies. And if they can't do that, should we really be using them to decide about crimes? Or even to work out who cheated on a daytime TV show? So are you guys good liars? Let us know in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to BritLab and you like what we do here. And check out this film all about the muscles in the face and maybe how you use them for emotions and lying.